Welcome back to Trend Winds War Tales. All right, so we take a look at our party screen. Don't be flabbergasted. These are just prisoners. To unlock a prisoner, you need to sneak up behind them when they're engaged and the enemy is weakened and then slap some chains on them. Ultos and Winnerd, we may try to keep because they have positive attributes. I don't know for sure, but this is all they have for skills, so they don't really seem as powerful as our people that we can hire as mercenaries, but they do have unique skills, such as this guy, he could... If he were to be a combatant, he could do 30% more damage to people engaged. However, for the time being, he's just our cook. And he does get experience for it, because I'm making him cook stuff like bread. And while I'm sure that there are people who is going to see that as a waste, my guys already have classes. This is a fisherman right now, probably change him back to mining. But for the time being, I just wanted to try to get some food to feed all these people. I think woodcutter, it's okay. I may change that too to something that can climb levels faster. But with these extra slaves or prisoners around, they can take up odd jobs for me. The strategist, who is a thief. We need someone who can build uh, continued experience points and so forth. Vanguard, she's probably the one I spend the most time working with as a blacksmith. And the uh, Tinker is also the one I spend a lot of time with. Also, she is our Tinker. I do have... One of the prisoners apparently set up as a tinker in the base so that she can rest at the campfire. The way the prisoners work is they must be around other players, other characters, and that will reduce their chances to escape. Things like our war ponies and the doge will count. Now, doge we got just... This was me just wandering around trying to learn more about the game and stuff. Not picking any special bounties, just doing some regular RPG stuff, wander around, get some fighting, get some levels, and we captured a dog, and I didn't know what to do with it. So I recruited it, and I thought about dismissing him, because he eats eight. A regular person eats two or three. He eats eight. And if he drops to zero in battle, he immediately dies. He doesn't get go into a dying state. You also don't control him. So later on, I might be able to if I pick a skill out of my level ups to do so. But that being said, I will actually lose the other two options for the level up. The only reason I decided that I might hold on to Doge for a while is he has this ability that says the unit is healed for 30% of its max health and all of its debuffs are removed. I don't know if this is really good, but so far that looks like the only way I can heal in battle. And that might be necessary as some sort of tactical plan. Like maybe maybe Fighter runs out of armor. I know what Guard is now. Maybe Fighter runs out of armor and he's starting to get whittled down. I have no way to recover anything. But with Doge, maybe, maybe that's something we could do. War Pony, I plan on possibly leveling up as a War Pony. I haven't done so yet, which is also why I haven't spent his attributes. Because we are looking at... Is it Hunter? Yeah, we're looking at possibly making Hunter be a Beast Master. She didn't get the Beast Master class. All allied animals next to the target attack them with an attack of opportunity. That, that sounds pretty powerful. We can always take out Recoil Shot if I learned how to reskill or get the money for that later. The other options that I will end up losing by taking Beast Mastery is Critical Hit causes bleeding and every two shots applies vulnerability. So this is probably the best one if I have any animals. That's why I haven't made War Pony a, uh, an actual battle unit yet because I wouldn't be able to control it. It would just wander around the battlefield and get sliced up and then injured. So I would have to pay for its healing. I haven't paid for these guys healing because as long as they're injured, they have a penalty to trying to escape. We also have a high suspicion rating because I just stole the recipe culture shock from the tavern here. It, it basically pumped me up from about 20 to 133 or something. It was a very, very expensive in the suspicion meter. But with that, I'm going to turn in these prisoners and that'll lower our wanted. All right, that should catch you up on some of the stuff that I've been doing off camera. I try to save all of the important stuff or when we're live. Might you be looking for work? I've gone ahead and accepted these attack missions. I don't know if they're special or not. We've done a rat infestation, but I don't know if these things respawn or if they're limited in number. Old Lighthouse is occupied by enemies. Again, I don't know if this is just like a random event or an actual in-game plot point. So we're going to free an Old Lighthouse. We're going to loot a Banis Lair. So basically we're going to attack two areas. That should bring us up to speed. Huh. 
high end passes, as I said before, and I normally try to click everything as fast as possible. We're gonna let, let this sheriff team just move a little bit further away from us. Our goal here is this Tilturn Jail. We're gonna go turn ourselves in. Be specific, we're not gonna turn ourselves in, we're gonna turn in those outlaws we got. I'm actually very, very heavily burdened because of all the food I'm carrying. I did go kind of on a buying spree once I made a little bit of pocket money. I guess I went insane. Because I forgot that carrying capacity is a thing. Well, no, I knew carrying capacity was a thing. I just didn't think I'd ever hit it. The Lady Mayoness has offered a reward for any outlaw captured in the region. You should give bounty hunting a try. All right, there's no dialogue other than this. You just drop by here and buy some chains. I don't know if I lost chains by by having a percentage chance to capture an opponent and then... No, I got five chains. Okay, never mind. I was going to say that I know for sure I bought five chains. We're going to hand over a prisoner, and I've already ordered them. Now, if this guy I just dressed up in my old armor, it still counts as carrying capacity, but I just dressed him up to make it easy to spot in my camp. But if I were to turn in Ultos, he's he's not a member of our party, so I haven't bestowed him with a, a name yet. <laughs> but he's probably happier that way. But anyways, if I turn in Ultos, I do get my Outlaws tabard back. But yeah, we're going to turn in people from the bottom, turn going on up. Red Har is the, the most uh, unusable. Thanks for contributing to law and order. I turn in Vatart. Thanks for contributing to law and order. And uh, Ainanon. Thanks for contributing to law and order. Okay, and that's actually all we can turn in right now. The dungeons are full, but that's okay because we did want to keep Winnard, who is solitary and hardworking, and Ultos, at least for the time being, um, because they make good slaves. <laughs> we got him to work on the Tinker's workbench, allowing um, Hunter to try to befriend other teammates because she actually, she's been working at the bench for a while and she hasn't really gotten a chance to know the party, so she only has one friend, whereas the guy who's just joined us has five friends. It, apparently even Doge is his friend, so yeah. All right, we're much less wanted until we get to about 50, it seems. I, on my test run, I wanted to see if stealing this was was like going to break my game, essentially. But it looked like when I got below 50 wanted, the guards stopped trying to chase me. So even though I'm not at past 100 anymore, they still seem to want my character. All of these people we can try to hire, even uh, except for the ones we just turned in, who are still injured, and I tried to talk to them, they just ignore me. But other people... I don't want to die. You can see that he's a brute, but they aren't as good as people in the tavern. They cost the same, both in wages and consumption, but typically they have at least one or two bad things. This guy has two bad things, club-footed and loafer. Yeah, we're really better off just waiting for the right people inside the tavern, especially if the enemy army does get stronger. If the enemy army didn't get stronger, I'd probably recruit them. Just help me carry my bags or something. I don't know, because right now we're actually overweight. But it's almost time for the new day anyways. Alright, so let's make sure that we have our camp the way we'd like it. Um, when animals guard your prisoners, they actually become more unhappy. I'm trying to highlight him, but it keeps highlighting the the, the, the uh, cauldron behind him. So it says here, feels unhappy to be guarded by animals like near cattle. So if I don't keep the wolf near him to keep an eye on him, then he won't get that negative. I guess he's at neutral trust with me. So we're going to try to get him up there, then possibly recruit them. I'm not still 100% sure I want to recruit them. Again, the game is supposed to... I think the game gets harder. There's more battles and stuff. The battles take longer and all that. So I don't know. But I do want people working profession, so that there is that. Of course, obviously, once they join us, I won't need two tinkerers. This is just to give Hunter a chance to, to talk to people in the camp. This tent gives me valor points when people are resting in it. You get two per rest. So I would go up to six. With him in it, that'll bring me up to seven on the next rest. Everybody else is around this campfire to give me plus happiness. I'm at max, but the extra happiness will get, become influence. The prestige points, but maybe it's path points. It's prestige points in Dead Rising. 
that gives me perks here that can be purchased in the appropriate, appropriate category. Mysteries and Wisdom, we've reached level 4 just by collecting resources or whatever. I catch 10 animals, discover 5 locations, just basically wandering the game. We haven't used any oils yet. I did look up oils because I was curious if they are permanent enhancements to your sword, and they seem to be, so I probably will use an oil once I get to level 5. But yeah, with uh, leveling up purple points gets me to spend here. And I don't really care about exterminators giving me purging a rat's nest gives you 50, in, 50 extra influence. But we will hold off and purging the rat's nest until we get cleaners. The re uh, I, I, to get the cleaners, you have to get exterminators first. That's why we picked up this influence bonus. So I don't really know what a plague infested outgrowth sample is, but since there's a whole perk around that, it's probably a good thing to get this before we clear the rat's nest. So that uh, covers that. Let's go ahead and rest for the day. I've gone ahead and preemptively put meal in it, so that way it makes it easier for recording purposes. And of course, this is what it would have cost to feed when I had those three extra prisoners around. Let's go ahead and take some items out. And that seems good. Yeah. Fighter and strategist relationship has improved. Oh yeah, if our companions have become more experienced, I can now appoint one of them as captain. I don't know what that is, and I don't know who should be captain. In fact, if I wanted to, I could make Doge a captain. I don't know why, but I could. I, I can't make the prisoners a captain. Um, I'm not actually sure what this is. is. Um, maybe I want the guy who has a title. He got a title by engaging with 30 people, uh, and that gave him an extra aptitude point, which is this. Uh, no one else has earned a title yet, but it's only a matter of time, such as if she got a bunch of injuries, that would be a title. She'd be called Vanguard the Scarred or something. I was trying to click on strategist. Or maybe like the strategist should be the captain. I, I, don't, I don't actually know what is the point of the captain because the game doesn't tell me anything about it that I can tell. <laughs> I, I don't I don't I don't know. So I'm going to hold off for that for a second, but we did unlock a path ward, which is apparently gain 100 influence. At some point, I must have hit that. I don't think I had, was, had that before we rested. Yeah. I'm going to make a save here, and I'll just quickly look at captain stuff. So give me a second. All right, let's give this a shot. He is sociable. I guess we'll try making strategist the captain because it just fits for his class name. Just We'll just really quickly take a look at it. Now we can craft a strategy table. Okay, let's try crafting this. It costs us these resources, that's fine. Generates one extra valor during each rest, but only for a high-ranking companion. Once we craft it, we get this extra recipe. If you see something else such as this, it means it's the first time we've ever crafted that item and we'll get knowledge progress. But since we're just checking what the strategy table is and we might load it anyways, let's just see what this is. Okay, so we got our, we, we made lots of progress towards it, towards the next thing and get unlocked a knowledge point. Go ahead and place the strategy table. Okay, and strategist, where are you at? Okay. Well, you get a little crown following you. We get to select the passive for our whole team, I guess. Damage of attacks costs are increased by 10%. Bonus of support is increased by 10%. Now, here's the question. When that, whenever a game talks about stuff like this, this can be taken two ways. Either it means it adds 10% to this 20%. So it goes up to 30%. That's the way most people would take it. However, many times the games instead multiply that. If I have 10% more of this support ability, that is actually 22% reduction, which sounds worthless. I'm going to guess it's the first one, but I, I wish the games were much more clear about whether it's additive or multiplicative that they are choosing their bonuses. Debuff, so increases it by 10%. Okay. I wish I knew what a captain did. It's like the only thing. Like even if I hover over it, nothing happens. All I can do is get, re give him a new name. There's no new perks or whatever specializations. There's new new buttons here. I Is that the only thing it is? We do have a lectern as well. That's just something we got for being level four in the purple PP. Uh, I don't know. 
Why is the combat strike? Let me look. Let me type in Captain real quick into a search engine and see if I get any information. Because the only thing I've seen when I typed in Captain before was make your Spearman a Captain. <laughs> I don't have a Spearman. And I am having an inkling suspicion that that might be based off of old builds of the game where people really like Spearman. I think they've been nerfed somewhat since then. Okay, it took five minutes for a Firefox to load. Slower than even Chrome, but I'm sure it'll be faster in future openings. So I found a web page that talks about captains and lieutenants. First off, if I wanted to change captains, it says I can do so by going to this Manage Companion. Now, hold on, let's maybe go to him. Yeah, I can name a new captain for 50 influence points. Again, this is just a test. Well, let's just... Okay, I have made the prisoner a captain. So although I cannot assign them the captain role, I can delegate it or rebrand. Re so yes, our captain is now the prisoner Ultos the cook. Um, anyways, what a captain does is, with we'll say medium range, area of effect, he has the ability called Galvanized Troops, which is not the same thing as Galvanized Buff. It gives 50% damage increase. Uh, this one gives me one Valor point per person in that circle. Then there's also Lieutenants, who in a smaller range gives double valor point generation to everybody who is in the effect they'll they'll gain a buff called orderly so that's that's what they do so we'll want to probably pick someone i guess strategist would probably be very good for being a captain because he's somewhat mobile the most mobile person in our unit though is brute uh, or vanguard as she's now named because she has the relentless charge ability that lets her go through literally every unit on the field whether hostile or friendly uh, she does have a high movement of 14 Oh, yeah, maybe she'll be captain. All right, well, uh, I did, did just, even though it took me two minutes to search it and like five minutes away for Firefox, I did get a message saying my family is coming home. So I'm going to have to pause for a few days and we'll get back to this. So if my voice sounds different the next time I start recording, that's always why. I just, uh, have to, I, I generally have to record in little segments and then put them all together and make one video for you. All right, so, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a couple days. Okay, welcome back. It's been about three days since we last played, but I remember that we were talking about captains when I comically made Ultus a prisoner a captain. We were going to make Captain's Vanguard, I believe. She was formerly named Brute. It's because she has Relentless Charge, which allows her to move wherever she wants on the battlefield. Friend or foe alike is no impediment to her. The strategist and Hunter will probably be Lieutenants, assuming that you get more than one. If not, we'll just make probably Strategists, because he has better movement than Hunter. I mean, Hunter, if we can raise her movement by the time we unlock that, sure. So there we go. We can also craft the strategy table. This will reduce our weight, which is something we need to do. The way the game appears to work is it adds it to your inventory first and then deducts it. And the reason I say this is it's actually going to look like it goes up. So we'll go ahead and have Hunter craft. The reason why we have two different tinkers is one works in the, the camp to uh, give him more prisoner trust and it allows my actual mercenary to hang out with other people. So we're going to craft this. You see that it actually went up, but then it automatically closes because of the first craft bonus, and we open it again to 199.5. So we actually just need to reduce our weight just by a little bit. We'll go ahead and sell this because the next tier of item appears to be level 5. I had crafted this for Vanguard, and it's level 5 required. So by the time we find someone that can equip heavy armor, we can probably just craft the level 5 version of heavy armor. We'll just go and get rid of this. That'll get us closer to our objective. While it's a little more involved in inventory Tetris or whatever, it's still obnoxious to me. Realistically, it's like like these characters are going to stand there for an entire 24-hour period or something is the way you're, I'm interpreting this. Uh, let's see, so my, my prisoners should have 0%. 20% here. I don't like that. Would be better if I did it this way. Forty percent there. Twenty percent there. Yeah, I'm not really thrilled about all of this. Where's where's he position? Oh, it looks like he's free. He might have already been keeping this guy to twenty percent. Yeah, he was already positioned on this guy. So he's, he's at 0% for some reason. Don't know why. 
uh, but the others are at 20 percent so what we'll do is he'll probably this one that is at 20 will probably join us first because he's getting plus three i don't really know if these are all equal value he's already satisfied the first one we get is neutral and he only gets plus two so when this one joins us we'll have an extra hand on deck and we'll be we'll probably be able to heal this guy's injury and that should make him trust us more right now we're leaving him injured because we don't want him to escape All right, so we, we need to be able to make sure that we're able to run, so we do need to sell some stuff. The Lady Mayoness has offered a reward for any outlaw captured in the region. You should give bounty hunting a try. Okay, we're at 193.9. As for something to learn, I think we're going to do grilled pork, because I've been saving that pork. I've been eating the other things like the chicken and whatnot, but if I learn one recipe, it, uh, it's best if I have enough of the resource to make with it. This is one weight and salt is 0.5 weight. Wait, yeah, 0.3 weight. So we might see if cooking would help with the weight as well. We have a path. We've accumulated a few path points. I think I already talked about that. But remember, it's been about three days for me. that bandits or something I guess so let's let's go mess with them I mean literally they're right next to the jail so if I, if I wanted to I could use that to turn in for outlaw stuff they're level six and one of the reasons they probably level six is because I got prisoners who are level five <laughs> at this level the enemies develop more complex and specialized battle strategies so these guys have a thirst for freedom because they're deserters oddly enough you look at them they do count as outlaw so that's someone you can turn in but they do have a different faction or whatever skill tree when you can look at that you can't look at it now but it says outlaw here i think it should say deserter so this is the deserter bonus they get a 50 percent damage increase if i two of my guy next i can't control the wolf and if he drops to zero hit points he's dead that's that's, that's no way no what we'll do is we'll run over here i don't think i could reach all of them not a large enough circle for that. I have some spare movement anyways. We're going to hit these guys. I'm thinking of reclassing him to do Berserk instead. So that he can single target one person. Because Brute or Slash Vanguard can hit multiple people. I don't know. Right, then we'll go ahead and move him to the side a little bit. I'm trying to lure him in a position where strategists can combo the enemy as well. I think maybe there. We'll see. We'll see if that works. We'll go ahead and burn up some more valor points. Now that I've engaged with him, this axe user, he's going to hit me with bravado, assuming that he thinks this guy is closer. That's going to give me an extra valor. So we'll see who he thinks is closer over here or over here. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. So now, can we... Yeah, we can just step right there and do that. Now, this is going to end up with this person attacking strategist, but now these guys are not going to be galvanized. I'm not really worried about this hammer person, because their coup de grace seems pretty worthless to me. I can't reach you. That's not... I don't like that. I bet you could. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we could do that. But I can't engage unless I save my ram for that attack. So I won't be out of wrath. I can run a total of five meters. That's every two. So if I were to stand here and then ram through, I don't think I could be able to ram through close enough. 
so we'll probably need to inch up until we can ram at least two of the enemies. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're, I'm going to get poisoned if I do that. I ram them without poisoning, get myself poisoned. Yeah, barely, marginally. Find the exact angle. Might That might never happen. Oh, there we go. That works. Press up to the side. Get you there. Now we don't have to worry about the archer for a while. Stupid wolf. I, I had a battle where I did replay it, where I was about to win one turn away, and the wolf decided to run into lightning and die. And all he needed to do was do nothing, and we would have won. As a result, we ended up stealing defeat from the jaws of victory. So it's the spearman, then the archer. If I can lure him and attack him, I'll get an extra Valor point. So we're going to move the Archer. I don't know if I have enough movement to pull this off. Yeah, you, you go next. All right. It needs to be now or never. Now they're in poison, and hopefully they'll attack Executioner, who's not engaged. This will cause him to engage, and I'll get an extra Valor point. Right? Yeah. You can see that my 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 war tailing has gotten better since you last saw me, because I did a lot of random battles. I don't like that I'm fighting enemies two levels higher than me. There should be... There should, I mean, I've never really been a fan of level scaling. I know I picked Adaptive Exploration. But that, that was a choice of lesser of two evils here. Next up is Archer, and then a whole new base. We get Spearman. Bomber again. If I ran here, I would be able to do some more poisoning. Now, if I wanted to capture people, since I'm right, I'm, I'm right here, this is probably the time to, to do it. I'm right next to the prison, essentially. Which I think I'm just gonna... I, I, I don't think I can actually reach them. I picked the wrong direction. If I, if I went right there instead, I would have gotten poisoned. I do this, this person would die. Let me think here. You would take 19 damage, so yeah, you're actually just going to die. That there's no, that's fine. That's, you are actually the one I wanted, because you have tactical intelligence. It says this unit alone is enough to give an ally supported. Nobody else has that. Like this is also a level six outlaw. It says henchman here. That's fine. So maybe instead of the active skill, which I think that's what that is, this is a weapon skill, it's probably like an active skill, and then you probably have a passive instead. I don't know, it was it seemed more interesting to me, and also I didn't have a spearman type unit yet. But yeah, I think you're actually just dead, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm just too powerful for my own good. Uh, alright, so... I was trying to think of what else I could do, so, such as uh, disengage and attack someone else for the the point. How much damage do you actually have? 19 to 25. That is significant. I only do 11 to 14. There's no real point attacking him, but I guess we might as well take the swing. Oh, 
Bomber goes next, and this henchman, so we can deal with him next. Uh, robber. So we'll need to we'll need to punch him out of there, or we'll get slammed. I don't think I can push him in any direction right now. Okay, this will... Since he's already going to be galvanized, might as well surround him and get that bonus. And if I were to hit him, it doesn't. It does look like I might push him back one tile. I think that's the way to interpret this. We're going to go activate deafness. Now we're no longer going to get hit by that. Fortunately, you're right. You're, you're, we, you're, we're blocking you from falling into the trap, so there's none of that happening. So, in their turn. Hammer dude, ignore him. Boss henchman, Doge. do so much damage compared to me. Stupid level scaling. Alright. use of the captain ability. Apparently it doesn't count herself, that's fine. <laughs> this actually opens up a little bit for me, because I should be able to push you into the spike thing. This also, also might mean that the uh, wolf jumps into the poison. Maybe that'll keep people from doing so. I thought something more was gonna happen there, so I was just waiting. 78% chance. I feel like it should be a lot more considering how badly wounded you are and you're poisoned. I'm not even sure you'd survive the next turn without me capturing you. And you have 11 hit points. You're literally gonna be poisoned to die next turn. Oh, so it should be an automatic, yes, you, you knock him out. Oh, 
hang in the area in case the wolf gets poisoned. You can't be captured because you have seasoned. I'm pretty sure the wolf's gonna get poisoned, but I'm, I'm gonna try to block off anyways. You have no interest in going in that direction. We'll wait for you to attack first. I mean, you'll probably do like two damage, but I'm not gonna give you the extra point of damage. <laughs> now we'll flank you. Chains, missed, chains again. Became a duelist. Take a look at who we're selling off here. Party in, no traits. Illic. Solitary. And it's okay. Not really worth keeping you around for. We can get rid of the one to level right now. Plus, I have trouble managing uh, all the escapability of everybody. So, yeah, I think we'll just go ahead and pawn you both off. If there's room, which she actually caps out after the a while. The has offered a reward. Yeah, darn it. All right, all right. That's so lame. How is this full? There's plenty of room, and I don't think you're really caring about how, how crowded it is here. Especially since you might be executing these people. Because when you talk to them, say, I don't want to be executed. Great. Now I gotta manage them, too. I just wanted to lower my wanted level. I can't spray paint my car here, so... All right, all right. We got another powering glory level. Forge armor have one additional armor layer slot. I should probably do this and reforge the the, the mace. No, probably not. I mean, I, there's so much that I need to forge that I haven't really. Yeah, the mace will hardly have to wait. The giant two-handed hammer, hammer I made. We're gonna make the art of the forge. We're going to save the rat infestation for when we get the plus one infested sample. I don't know what that does, but it sounds important. So, yeah. 
Let's go ahead and head on to these two locations. Try to avoid any of the police in the way. I don't know how they know I lifted scrolls or food. I, did, I never did appreciate how games just automatically flag your items as stolen. Why? How do you know this? Camp and let the police head on by. 